What is up everybody? Welcome back to Case Digital. My name is Zach and in today's video we are answering the question of how do I print on the same line in Python. So um, this question got asked to me by a previous video where I talked about how you can iterate through strings and I gave this example of like you have this string that says programming is awesome, let's get coding. And when you run this you essentially see that everything gets printed out in a new line. And now that's great when you're checking different things but what if you want everything to just be on the same line? How do we do that? Well that's what we're answering today. So without further ado, let's hop right in and start coding. All right, so printing on the same line in Python is actually pretty simple. Um, it all comes down to one parameter change in our print function um, to go from something that looks like uh, all this, you know, every character on its on its own line to basically printing out a string that kind of looks just like this all together on its own line. Now to do that, um, I can leverage the power of my IDE and I can say, um, what does the print function give us? Now, if we look at this, um, the IntelliSense for a VS Code will help tell us that the print function takes in the values, our objects that we're trying to print. It has a set function, an end function, file, and flush. If we pay special attention to this end uh, parameter here, um, or these are all parameters, not functions, I think I missed said that. But if we pay attention to the end parameter, you can see that it says it's a string appended after the last value that you kind of pass in of the object, follow, and the default is a new line. So that means that this end function, or this end parameter is the thing that is causing every single character, when I run it just like this, to be on its own new line, and that's why everything prints out. So if we go in and we say end is equal to, and I just give it a new line, what you'll see here is I hit you know, reset and run. We get programming is awesome. Let's get coding. But you'll see there's like, why is there a, a percent sign at the end? I didn't have a percent sign up here. Well, that's because what's happening is, is it's not like when it's printing out, it's basically meaning that there's no new line at the end. And so when my, when, when it all gets printed out to the console, what's happening is, is this parenthesis that's indicating kind of like um, here, like, like this is the place to, to start typing again in the terminal. It kind of gets put out there. And so that's kind of why you end up with something that's like, you know, all together, it's because it's mixing the flush of the terminal with, with the printing. And so you can't, to show that that's kind of the case, I can just say print and I can say, hello, Oops, let's do another string. And if I run this, you'll see that printing is awesome. Let's get coding. Hello. And that's because like I mentioned right here, we're printing out and we're saying that there were not, there's nothing like there's no new line. We just, whatever's the next print to the screen, we want it to go right or we want it to go right to that end. And so that's why we end up with something like this print. Hello gets squashed up right against the end of this coding. And it's because of how we caused it to print here. Now, if we didn't want that and we only wanted say, you know, when I'm looping through this string and trying to get all the characters, I only want this whole string to be printed out. What you can essentially do is um, you can say, I can get rid of this and I can say, I wanna go, I wanna go through the indexes. So index, and then I'm gonna use the enumerate function. And what this will do is this first value will be the index and the second value will be that, that character of the string. And then all I can say is if the index is not equal to basically the last index spot, so we're gonna say length of um, curse string minus one because the length will give us our total length and we need to get the index, so we have to subtract by one. Then I want you to print out like this. Otherwise, if else, I want you to just do print out the chart because then and that'll give us our default new line, right? Um, that is in there. So when I run this again, you'll see that I get out everything printed out just like that. And I've got, I've been looping through it each individual character rather than if I just printed this out. Like if I just printed curse string right up here, like on line five, what you would see is it would basically be this exact same thing. And I can even show that. So I can say print curse string. There it is. And just like that, they look the exact same. And that's because this is basically doing kind of like, um, as I loop through each character, what it would do there. Now, that's how you can print out um, basically uh, everything, you know, or change what you want to do. So that way that everything prints out on a new line. That's how you do if you want to do, new, do, do a new line. But you can also do some things where you could say like, I wanna change my ending to this. This would still all be on the same line, but now we added some stuff in between. So that way we say that when I do print out a character, I always want you to end with, you know, um, this, you know, vertical bar. Um, and then since I don't have a new line in there, it would go to, uh, it would keep on that same line. Now, if I wanted this all to be a new, you know, contain a new line, you would see that it shows that everything except for the very last character um, gets the character and then, a, and then a bar and a new line, which then would then put everything on its own line. So again, 
line, you just got to remove the new line. And just like that, you have something printing out on its own line uh, without going to the new line. And you can actually read it a little bit better rather than every single character being there. So I hope this answers your question. Um, if you have any comments, please leave them below. If you have questions or um, comments on other things that are not necessarily related to this, but you'd like an answer to um, on your you know programming journey, I should have a uh, Google Forms link below where you can go fill that out, put in your question, and that'll help me you know make videos that are very specific to the needs that you have um, and help you answer your questions that you're trying to solve. So I hope this video provided value. If it did, please hit the like button and until next time, keep on programming.